Hi again, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Marquez. I'm going to read you another book today. But before I begin, I would like you to think about some things as I read this to you. First, I'd like you to think about the author's purpose. Why did this author write this book? Did the author do it to inform you about something, to teach you? Did the author write it to persuade you to do something such as uh, move to Hawaii and the author tells you all the wonderful things about Hawaii or take this job and tells you all the wonderful things about that job? Or did the author write this to entertain you? So first I want you to be thinking about that and perhaps when you've decided you can share your answer with um, a family member or if you have uh, access to the Facebook pages, you could write it on there. But um, I want you to be thinking about that as I read. Also, I read you one part uh, of this book or in this series, the book called Parts. This one is called More Parts. It's written by Ted Arnold as well. And so because it was written by the same author and it seems to kind of go together, I'd like you to think about ways you can compare this book with the first book, Parts. How are they the same? What do they have in common? How are they different? I want you to compare what's the same, contrast what is different. You may get this simply on a piece of paper and maybe draw a line down the middle, but compare, same, contrast, different, whatever way you can do this and share it with your family members again. You can take a picture, post it on your teacher's uh, Facebook page if she has one. But I want you to be thinking about this as we read. So let's get started. Again, this is called More Parts by Ted Arnold. It is again published by Puffin Books. And Ted Arnold is both the author and the illustrator as this one, as, as well as the other. All right, he starts off by saying, things are bad and getting worse. Each day it's something new. With all the stuff I hear about, I don't know what to do. One day I tripped on my red truck and it just fell apart. But when I told my mom, she said, I bet that broke your heart. I guess that's possible, who knows? I don't think mom would lie. I better play more carefully. This pillow's worth a try. See how his heart's broken? He's protecting it. People say all kinds of things that I don't understand. Like when my dad asked me if I would please give him a hand. I didn't know my hands came off and I don't want them to. So I'll make sure they stay on with gloves and lots of glue. Our next door neighbor had a joke he wanted us to hear. He said, it's sure to crack you up. I ran away in fear. wants to hear a joke like that? Not my idea of fun. I got to keep my head together. It's my only one. My teacher has me worried too. This happened yesterday. She said to stretch our arms and legs before we go out to play. I'm sure the, she thinks it's good for us, but that's just too bizarre. My arms and legs are long enough I like the way they are. I know I've got a lot to learn, 
I'm little and I'm young. But what did grandma really mean when she said, hold your tongue? My tongue's a slippery, jiggly, squishy, slippery little squirt. I'd be, it'd be my luck to squeeze too hard and lose it in the dirt. So I decided that it's best to stay here in my room. Because who knows when some little thing just might lead to my doom. Do you see something familiar on this page? I do. Then mom and dad came in and asked, why are you upset? I told them all the things I heard that got me in a sweat. Like coach who says before each game, it's ready to begin. He gets so nervous that he nearly jumps out of his skin. Or what a friend said recently. It gave me such a fright. He claimed his baby sister screams her lungs out every night. <laughs> my skin could slip, my head could crack, and I might break my heart. I could lose my lungs, my hands. Who knows when it might start? What if, quite by accident, my body flies apart? Mom and Dad just smiled and looked, relieved that I'm okay. And Mom explained to me about the things that people say. And though Dad laughed, I know he didn't mean to be unkind. When he said, for a minute, son, we thought you'd lost your mind. So boys and girls, again, why do you think this author, Ted Arnold, wrote this book? Was it to teach you about something like insects or how to play football? Was it to persuade you to do something like go out and mow the lawn for your mom and dad, which would be a great idea if you can do it. Maybe too little though. Or was it to entertain you? And again, one more thing, I'm going to go ahead and put back on the same area of your lesson plans, um, the parts that I read. So I want you to maybe look, read or watch that one more time and watch this and compare them. Again, compare means what is the same. Contrast means what is different about them. So I hope you enjoyed our book today. Again, we miss you very much and hope to see you soon. Your teachers love you, as do I. And we're thinking about you all the time. We're working hard to help you have a good experience. You take care, and I hope you like this. Let me know if you did. Bye-bye.